Okay, hi everybody. Today's question, what is an entrepreneur? Well, Joseph Schumpeter said an entrepreneur is a person with a great idea and no money. <laughs> so I'm a third generation in the eyewear business. We're gonna talk about the eyewear market. Anybody here does not have a pair of sunglasses or glasses, raise your hand. Looks like we got everybody here. All right, about two thirds of us need eye correction and it's even greater in Asia. The eyewear market is about $180 billion and it's projected to almost double by 2030. So we are 3DNA. We're gonna to talk today about digital manufacturing, addressing the inventory tied capital. So for example, if you're in the US, you wanna buy a Toyota or a Ford, you go to the dealer, they have 100 cars on the lot. You buy the car you want, you drive off. But Ford still has 99 cars on the lot depreciating of tied capital. But if you buy a Tesla, you pick the wheels, the color of the battery, you pay, then they make it. So Tesla has none of the inventory tied capital, logistics or depreciation as the legacy auto manufacturers. My grandfather owned an optical lab and 30 years ago, they used to have tools and molds for every single different prescription power and lens design in the lab. It was a logistics and SKU nightmare. 30 years ago, the Germans came out with a machine called digital surfacing. The digital surfacing machine can take a common piece of plastic and make a Zeiss lens, a Nikon lens. And when this came about, it scaled the production and the lens brands could exit logistics and inventory. Now the lens brands send a digital design file to the lab and every time your doctor orders a Zeiss lens, the lab makes it and pays Zeiss 30 bucks. So my first startup was called Chemistry Clip-On. I invented and patented this magnetic lens technology. This fits any frame. We scaled this to 50,000 retail doors by selling through the optical lab channel. The lab said, Dennis, your clip-on is the most profitable add-on we have in the lab. What else can you sell us that we can plug into our digital manufacturing line? So I moved to Asia to study manufacturing. And what I found shocked me that manufacturing for glasses is still stuck in 1975. The high labor costs are causing factories for glasses to only compete on price and they're going out of business left and right. There's high MOQ, long lead time, and very expensive molds and tools. And as a result, the brands have to buy once a year and they tie up huge capital in their stock inventory. And at the end of the year, 20% goes in the landfill because they don't sell it. So the solution is to copy Tesla and the lenses with on-demand manufacturing. Our production streamlines everything from order to fulfillment. So our solution involves a retail kiosk in the opto optometry offices and retailers, 3D visualization software that lets them choose and pick, which is aided by AI for styling and fitting, and digital manufacturing, which automates the production with AI. So we're targeting the traditional legacy manufacturers and up, up converting them from analog to digital. So we have three general revenue streams. One is a smart factory automated production system. Two is a retail kiosk and a license. And the three is a raw materials and a license, per unit licenses. We're projecting $158 million in the fifth year so about 300 million in cumulative revenue in five years. And luckily, I know the labs. They're already making $20,000 a month off my clip-on. They're on the phone calling me, Dennis, we wanna make frames, how do we make them? So they're waiting for the digital production line. Our pilot program of kiosks, we sold over 3,000 unique frames from just 40 kiosks. While our competitors are doing virtual try-on and Instagram filter mirrors, we own the whole process from visualization all the way up to production and fulfillment. And our team has successfully deployed before. My co-founder, Shilu, is a graduate of HKE. She's got her doctorate from Stuttgart. And our combined team has over 100 years of experience in eyewear manufacturing, machinery manufacturing, and automation technology. We're seeking five million to build a smart factory here in Hong Kong. We're a graduate of Cyberport, and Hong Kong government is offering a two to one matching grant to 
put Smart Factory here in Hong Kong. <coughs> Pretty good opportunity, two to one, free money matching grant. So time is up. Uh, thank you very much for your pitch, and uh, we will move on to the next company.